let's get started building our first metadata structure. So actually, I'm going to start with prepare and manage data from the WebFocus homepage. As I mentioned before, it's always a good idea to get a clean and useful structure. So we're going to first add a new application directory. As this is for the brain shark course, we're going to go and call it brain shark. Click OK, put it to the application folder at the end of the application folder. Not needed, but sometimes very useful. So now that we got our folders, we can look into it. So we now have whatever we need. There's my brain shark folder. Let's go into that folder. And that's where we're going to start. So actually, we're going to start building some basic synonyms first. So we're going to go for get data. I personally like to go to the advanced mode, which is going to get us some more flexibility versus the basic mode of creating master files. So go to the advanced mode. We're going to go for the hyperstage database, go to my first connection. And we're going to build our information in the brain truck folder. And I don't want to see all my data. Actually, I want to filter on WRD underscore WF, which I know are the names for my folders, uh, for my master files that belong to WF Retail. And actually, I'm going to start with a cluster synonym, even if I don't want the cluster, because base synonym only allows me to create one master file after the other. So let's go in there. And that's what we have. So actually, I know that time is, of course, a dimension. I know when there is a dimension I want to use. I know that I want to go for the geography. I know I want to go for the product. I want to go for the store. And actually, I want to go for what else we want to go. Let's go for the customer, of course, because customer first. So. Actually, that's the dimension tables that I wanted to have in here. So, okay, with those dimension tables, the only thing left in here is actually getting our fact table, which is this one here, the retail sales. I'm going to tell the system that's going to be my most important fact table. So I've got, I selected what I wanted. I select add. And we, that way, we're going to put whatever we need into there. The another thing that the focus automatically tries to do in here is it builds my first joint structure. So you see, it already joined my fact table with all the dimension tables. If your database is very yeah, properly uh, built, it's got nice foreign keys, it's using uh, very, very clean naming conventions for the names, that might going to get you the right level of metadata to continue with. The only thing now would be to save that element and you're going to have a pre-built master file structure. You might want to check the joints, but that's something actually we're going to go into and look into within yeah, our next step.